Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm your presenter, Nick Cardo McLean, with the final women's 100 meters form chart prior to the firing of the starter's pistol at Jamaica's national championships on Thursday. Let's get right into it. At number 10 is perennial contender Natasha Morrison, who is set to toe the line inside the national stadium with a mere three 100-meter races under her belt thus far this season. Seventh in the Bills final in Beijing just under seven years ago, she likely need to go at least two tenths faster to make a return to the global stage in an individual capacity this July. Coming in at number 9, following her lifetime best, 1109 effort for second in the final at Jubilee Series 3, is MVP's Shakoria Wallace. The 28 year old definitely appears capable of becoming the latest female sprinter conditioned by the phenomenal Francis Brothers to make a world champs team. A surprise fifth placer in last year's National Champs final, the experienced Ramona Burchell, who features in the eighth spot, is all set to continue her mid-career revival at Nationals 2022. Owner of a relatively modest 11-13 season's best, the one-time U.S. collegiate champ over 100 meters for the University of Alabama could just be primed to challenge the 11-03 PB established during her time in Tuscaloosa. Seventh is where we find the toolsy but enigmatic Kevona Davis. The talented University of Texas athlete was hotter than a firecracker in May, following up a stunning 1095 BB semi with a windy 1083 final at the Big 12 Conference Championships. She was though noticeably cooler at the subsequent NCAA Outdoor Championships. At number 6 is former St. Jago standout Natalia White, who is one of seven Jamaican women who've breached the 11-second barrier so far this season. Reproducing the personal best 1097 she registered at April's University of North Florida Invitational should put her squarely in the shakeup for a top 6 spot. Fourth in last year's National Champs Final, Olympic relay gold medalist Brianna Williams, who is fifth here, will be looking to replicate that placing this time around. The cool-headed 20-year-old gave all and sundry a timely reminder of just what she can do when dialed in by producing a season's best 1098 to dismiss a quality field at Jubilee Series 3. NCAA 100-meter runner-up Kemba Nelson continues her striking surge up the charts with this appearance at number 4. With her last three results reading a windy 1085, personal best 1097 and 1102, the University of Oregon athlete appears to have hit top gear at just the right time. Third on our form chart is Olympic 100-meter bronze medalist Sharika Jackson. With a season's best of 1092 done at May's Prefontaine Classic, the 27-year-old also enters as the third fastest in the field. Second, as she's been from her first form chart until now, is Olympic champion Elaine thompson Hero, whose world-leading five wind-legal sub-11 times attest to the consistently high level at which she's currently operating. If conditions are favorable, her 1079 from pre which presently stands as her SB should experience a big downward reset. And at number one is reigning world champ Shelly Ann Fraser Price, who, according to her coach Rinaldo Walcott, will mount a defense of the national title that she claimed for a fourth time last season. With twin world-leading 1067 performances already in the bag, the most decorated 100 woman of all time will take quite some beating inside the National Stadium. And that's how we close out this installment of Mondo Musings. Now, while the big three appear to be a cut above the rest of the field, an intriguing battle is definitely shaping up for the fourth spot. Who do you think will snatch the final individual place for Eugene? Will it be the reliable Brianna Williams? A surging Kemba Nelson? The mercurial Kevona Davis, perhaps? Or will one of Ramona Burchell, Shakoria Wallace, or Natalia White upset the apple cart? Let me know how you think it will go down, down below. Until next time, Godspeed.